Bah je suis en retard parce que... Je viens pas aujourd'hui parce que... Ça me plaît parce que... Bonjour à tous Today we are going to look at a very common expression in French. Parce que... Before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. Moi, c'est Anamika. My name is Anamika and I am your French language trainer. I love making French language content to make your life easy and help you learn this language more efficiently. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook. You can listen to my podcast as well. Or if you want to join our live French classes or you want to take our recorded sessions, then you can text us on WhatsApp or you can visit our website. I'm going to put the links and the phone number in the description. Box. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to it. It means a lot. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification. All right, so let's start. The expression, of course, parce que. Let's first quickly polish the pronunciation of parce que. Parce que. Parce que. Parce que. Parce que. But when we speak quickly, we say parce que. Parce que. Now, while this expression is very useful, there are actually many other ways to say because that would make your speech sound more sophisticated and natural. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you some other alternative expressions with some examples that you can use in your day-to-day -day French and also during your DELF and TEF exams to demonstrate your proficiency in the language. The first expression, puisque, puisque, puisque which means since, not your time wala since. This is something which is expressing the cause because we are doing the expression of causes. Here is one thing that you need to remember while you use puisque. You can only use it when your cause is evident to the person you are speaking with. What I mean to say is the cause that you are expressing using puisque should be known to the person you are speaking with. Let me explain. Puisque c'est dimanche aujourd'hui, je travaille pas. Puisque c'est dimanche aujourd'hui, je ne travaille pas. Now when you say puisque c'est dimanche, we assume that the person you're speaking with already knows that it's Sunday. So in this case, you can use puisque. Another example, puisque je parle français, je peux bien voyager en France. Now I'm using here puisque je parle français. Well, I'm using puisque here because I believe that whosoever is watching this video knows that I speak French. So this cause is known to the people who are listening to me right now. Puisque je parle français, je peux bien voyager en France. Now, since puisque is used when the cause is known to the person, what do we use when the cause is not known to the person? The second expression, comme. Now, comme in English means as. Com has many different meanings and uses, but here we are only talking about com to express a cause. Let me give you some examples. Comme je suis malade, je ne voyage pas. Comme je suis malade, je ne voyage pas. As I am sick, I am not traveling. Now, I believe that nobody knows that I am sick or I am not keeping well. Another example. Comme il pleut ici dans ma ville, je sors pas. Comme il pleut ici dans ma ville, je sors pas. As it is raining here in my city, I am not going out. Now, I'm using come here because I believe that you do not know it's raining here. Another important thing that you must remember is come usually comes in the beginning of the sentence and not in the middle of sentence. The third expression, du fait que, du fait que, due to the fact that or because. Now, this expression is a complete synonym of parce que. Let me give you some examples. Il n'est pas venu. Du fait qu'il était malade. Il n'est pas venu du fait qu'il était malade. He didn't come because he was sick. Je suis en retard du fait qu'il y avait beaucoup d'embouteillages. Je suis en retard du fait qu'il y avait beaucoup d'embouteillages. I am late because there was a lot of traffic. So even when you translate, it comes out to be because. The next expression is vu que, vu que, seeing that or considering that. Again, a complete synonym of parce que. Let's see some examples. Vu qu'il a trouvé un nouveau boulon, 
Il va bientôt déménager en France. Another example. Vu qu'on a des vacances très bientôt, je vais voyager avec ma famille. Seeing that we have vacations very soon, I'm going to travel with my family. Now the expressions that you've just done with me will only take full sentence. That means there has to be a subject, verb and the remaining part of the sentence. What I mean here is you cannot use a noun after parce que, puisque, comme, tu fais que, vu que. There has to be a proper sentence. I can't say vu que l'embouteillage, je suis en retard. That would be incorrect. However, you can modify some of the expressions to use them with the noun. If you already know that, then tell me in the comments. The next expression is à cause de. À cause de, which also means because. But the interesting thing about this expression is it is used to express a negative cause. For example, à cause de la maladie, je dois rester à la maison. À cause de la maladie, je dois rester à la maison. This means I'm not really happy staying home. À cause de. Faites attention, be careful. With this expression, à cause de, you must use the cause in noun form and not in a full sentence. The next expression, grâce à, grâce à. Now, this is the complete opposite of the expression à cause de. Grâce à literally means thanks to. When you are expressing a positive cause, for example, grâce à mon professeur, j'ai réussi mon examen. Grâce à Internet, je peux bien faire mes recherches. Alright, so these were some expressions to express cause in French. They can be used to replace parce que. But honestly speaking, in your day-to-day -day French, if you end up speaking parce que, then nobody is going to scold you. So please feel free to use parce que. But in addition to that, you can use these expressions as well. If you know more such expressions to express cause, then please mention them in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you do not miss any notification. And please like this video if you find it useful. You can also share it with your friends who are learning French. I'll see you in the next video. A bientôt.